Okay. We just did a mapping in the previous exercise. We did a mapping that we were mapping an array of strings. The only difference now in this one is that it's an array of objects. And that's not really a React thing. It's more like a JavaScript thing. It's, there's nothing new here to learn from React, just more like from the JavaScript side. Because if you're mapping an object, single animal will not be now horse like before. It will be an object that contains a property label. So you will have to put it like this, single animal dot label, because that's what single animal has. It has a label here. Each of these are an object. So each item is really an object with the label property. So if I run this, you can see that it's horse, turtle, elephant, monkey. Perfect. Now let's try testing it. Ah, yeah, it's giving us the warning again about the key. So you have to remember to put the key in the first element of each array item. It has to be unique. I explained it in the previous one, but just for as a short um, comment, I can explain it here again. This will be the element zero. This will be the element one. This will be the element two. Like each item here in the array, it's an element. And that's why it's so cool that you can use the i here because the i will represent the index. So zero, one, or the position. So since the key has to be unique for every li, I think that's a guarantee that it's going to be unique because it's going to be every index. Now if we test it again, it will probably be all perfect. Yeah. 